pasuk right in the middle of Pasha's Chukas, the Torah talks about how uh, Moshe Rabbeinu was talking to Sichem, but right in the middle he says, V'nitzak l'Hashem ve'yishma k'leinu, and we cried to Hashem, and Hashem heard our voices, V'yishlach malach, and he sent a malach, he sent an angel to take us out of Mitzrayim. So all the Mepharshim asked, the angel, what kind of angel took us out of Mitzrayim? It was Hashem, it was Moshe. So Rashi says right away, malach means Moshe, Moshe is an angel, why is he an angel? Because Nevi'im are called angels, and he brings a Pasuk. So what does it mean that an, a, a Novi is called a Malach? A Novi is a person. A, pr- a prophet is a person. He's not an angel. Chavetz Chaim says that what is the definition of a Malach, of, a, of an angel? An angel, he is created with a program to do what HaKadosh Baruch, the mission that HaKadosh Baruch programs, like a computer. He programs the Malach and he does the mission. A person, at the end of the day, is also supposed to accomplish a certain mission. He's supposed to fulfill his, his mission in this world. But in order to get to that, he's in this world, he's fighting the Yitzhahara, he's found in, in places of trials and tribulations, but if he's Matzliach, if he's successful and he becomes a Novi, the Rambam says that a Novi is a person who never ever listens to his emotion over his, over his intellect. His intellect always, is, 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 uh, always wins over his emotion because he, he does things when he knows is right. He never is swayed by his emotion. Such a person becomes a Novi, so he becomes a Malach because he fulfills his mission exactly like a Malach fulfills his mission. And even more so, says the Chafetz Chaim, and he gives a beautiful mushroom. So once there was a mighty king who had a kingdom and he had, a, he had an army with great soldiers and the army and they conquered a certain, a certain battle. They were victorious in a battle and he wanted to give them each a, 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 a show of appreciation to these soldiers. So what did he do? He wanted to get a certain type of very, very precious fur from a white bear. Where do you find a white bear? Only in the mountains, in the, in the far off north mountains can you catch these, these bears and it's not so easy to catch them. So he created an, an, an elite a uh, group of, of soldiers who are going to go and catch the bears. Now, of course, in order to go off into the north, into this place where to catch the bears, they can't go in their regular, in their regular crisp uh, uniforms. They have, to, they have to dress for the, for the mission. So they have to dress with, with, uh, with thick clothing and with fur so that they should be warm and uh, with, with appropriate, appropriate clothing to be able to catch the bears. And they went, and they were, t- and they, and they, and they, and they, and they came back with the bears. They were, they were successful in their mission. When they came back, the king was so happy, and he organized a parade. So in the parade, he had the regular soldiers who came in their crisp uniforms, and he had these elite soldiers, these elite, these e- elite uh, um, troops, who were able to catch the bears. So they were still dressed in their work clothing. In their, they were dirty. They weren't so clean. It was dirty clothing. It was thick clothing. It didn't look as nice as the other soldiers. And the person was walking by, not so intelligent, and he said, why is the king so excited about these soldiers? These, they look so crisp, they look so clean. These are the soldiers that, that, the, that the king should be saluting. Instead, he's saluting this dirty group of soldiers. Why is he saluting them? They don't understand, because they went into the dirt, they went into the place where it was difficult. They fought and they fought and they did the greatest battle. They caught the white bears that nobody else could do. He says, that's a person. A person goes into this world, he dresses in bones and flesh and blood, and he does doesn't look like a malach. He does. He looks like a person. He looks and the malach and maybe look down at him. Oh, he's just a person. But if he's successful and he comes back even in those clothing, then he's even more precious in front of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, even more precious than the malachim. Shabbos. Please don't forget to subscribe. You'll get the video every week by subscribing. Put a like. Thank you very much. Good Shabbos.